lightweight, now leading contender for featherweight title in the world. He's the champ, Raul Rojas. These, of course, are local heroes. Well, fans, here's Aaron a great Los one who certainly is moving on today. Has he done is so still well under undefeated, high-ranking heavyweight, Joe Frazier. This is a fine young fighter who has elected to stay out of the heavyweight elimination tournament unbeatenly, unbeaten, recently knocked out Tony Doyle in the first round. a great win, a great upset over Ernie Terrell in the quarterfinal elimination. In the quarterfinals, a winner soon to go into the semis, our own Thad Spencer. Thad Spencer, the boy from San Francisco who fought an extremely fine Bye -bye. fight Bye -bye. against Bye -bye. Ernie Terrell in Houston well back in August. Represent the officials at ringside, a regular timer at the bell, keeping count of the knockdowns, it's Jack Smith. Judging today alongside of Jack will be Joey Olmos. Also judging at ringside will be Lee Grossman, and your referee today, man in charge in the ring from San Francisco, Vern Bybee. There are your officials. Position in attendance. The chief is Dr. Jack Yusim, assisted by Dr. Bernhard Schwartz. And on your microphone on ABC, Howard Cosell at ringside. There's an unasked for plug with some concomitant booze. All right, boxing fans, here we go. Quickly, rounds as boxing, Jimmy Lennon continues to the talk, to continue the they operate on a simplified five point scoring Today system here. In California, that means that the winner of a round can get from one to five points, never gets five, at most usually gets two, the loser gets none. There's the introduction of Floyd Pattis. He's got a mistake about him, Patterson does. Through all the years, People have liked him. Presenting on my right, red trunks of the white corner. He weighs in an even one hundred. But this lad is from Bakersfield, California. Bybee is now giving the instructions. The instructions, unfortunately, aren't coming through to you. Let me review that scoring system. One point, at most, usually two points to the winner of a round there. There would have to be a knockout involved, although the scoring system actually calls for one to five points. No points for the loser. If the round is considered even, each battler gets no points. Incidentally, Thad Spencer has just joined us. And he's going to be scoring this fight. Usually a pretty good index. We're ready now for the action. Round one. Watch Patterson's old familiar peekaboo style implanted in him by Custom Auto. The hands up in front of the face, the elbows reasonably close together. Motto used to say it not only protected the face, but gave you better firepower. In later years, a lot of people think D'Amato taught it to Floyd because of the vulnerability of his chin. Quarry with a left to the stomach. with that right, that chopping right that decked Floyd in the second round of that last bout on June the 9th. That will be, of course, the mandatory eight count in the event of a knockdown. Counting continues after the bell. You can't be saved by the bell. Floyd Patterson in the blue trunks. Jerry Quarry in the red velvet trunks. Heavyweight elimination quarterfinal. Floyd with a flurry, winding up with that left. Floyd at his best with those short, jolting combinations on the inside. Right 
right above us, Quarry, and he had trouble in the last out getting out of the corner. Now he's out with the break. This is Patterson against Quarry on ABC's Wide World of Sports. Note that Floyd will be moving from side to side, and Quarry, Quarry got in a right there, and then Floyd came back with that series of blows. The combinations, Quarry with a left, directly above us this action is. We have a minute to go in round one, and Patterson has certainly started faster in this fight than he did in the last one. Maybe that workout in the dressing room did the job for him, at least up to this point. We have 50 seconds to go in round one. And Patterson has it. Again, Quarry's inability to get out of that corner is costing him and costing him dearly. At 32, one had to wonder going into this fight, and one still must wonder how much Floyd has left. We have 25 seconds left in this round one. Patterson in the blue trunks, Corey in the red velvet trunks. The action good thus far, and Corey got in a good left to the chin. had better learn to stay out of that corner. Can the brand of spark plug make a difference in a car's performance? In test after test, all sanctioned and certified by the United States Auto Club, Champion showed it can. In performance tests at Sebring, Florida, 46 out of 50 Cadillacs accelerated faster with Champion Turbo Action spark plugs with booster gap than they did with spark plugs without these features. In tests in the laboratory, 48 out of 50 Chevrolets got better gas mileage with this same type of Champion plug. In mileage tests on Utah's Bonneville Salt Flats, 49 out of 50 Chevrolets got better mileage with Champions. Can Champions make a difference in your car? It depends on your car and you. No two cars and drivers are alike. But in test after test, cars sparked by Champion gave better performance. Next time you get a tune-up, insist on Champions. We're back at ringside for round two, live via ABC's Wide World of Sports. Patterson against Quarry and Floyd kept his towel on, mistakenly. That little sheepish look that he so often gives out with. They're in the center of the ring, as you can see, and Quarry was being told to stay away by the people in his corner. His co-managers are, of course, his father, Jack Quarry, and Johnny Flores, and he's got a great cut man, used to be a New Yorker, Teddy Bentham. Ernie Fowler is the man in... Floyd's corner, at least the principal one. Ernie's been with Floyd for years, while others have gone by the wayside. That was, as you can see, butting, which the crowd viewed with some considerable disfavor. The action in the first round was excellent. The pace thus far in the second round markedly slow. Quarry going for the midsection. in the red trunks, Patterson in the blue trunks. A little bit of Floyd's old, almost amateurish habit of lunging, leaving his feet. But side to side, out of the peekaboo stance. That's the Patterson style through all the years. A right lead got Quarry. A right lead surprised Quarry. You saw it. After that right lead, you doubtless saw Quarry with a pretty good counter. This is a tough, rugged kid, hard to put down. 29 bouts, has won 24. Lost one, that to Machen, and he drew four times. Patterson, of course, much more experienced. 52 bouts, 46 victories, 35 by knockouts, five defeats, and the draw with Quarry. Quarry with a good left. We have a minute left to go in this round two. Patterson against Quarry. Quarterfinal heavyweight elimination tournament. Jerry going hard to the midsection.
I note that Thad Spencer gave round number one to Patterson, one point to none. This round is going to be much harder to score. It's a better round for Quarry than the first one was. 30 seconds to go in round two. Fighters in the middle of the ring. Floyd with that left lead. Floyd in the blue trunks. Quarry in the right in the red velvet trunks. Live on ABC's Wide World of Sports. It's heavyweight boxing and a quick exchange between Patterson and Quarry. Continuing after the bell, or rather counting, continuing after the bell. There's the bell again. The fighting, as you can see, going on. Remember, we told you earlier in the show that counting continues after the bell. Even on the mandatory eight count. And so, for the second time consecutively, in their two bouts, Quarry gets to Patterson in the second round. Patterson with that unbelievable vulnerability. This is actually the 18th time in his career that he has been knocked down. Now remember, Patterson has the remarkab remarkable recuperative powers we've talked about. He proved that in the last match. Seems unheard as you look at him. A little shamefaced. Partisan crowd, and quite understandably partisan, is eager for the kill. Let's see what Quarry's learned from the last match, how much he's improved. Let's see how much is still within Patterson. Quarry forcing the fight, Quarry the aggressor at this moment. trying to keep punching distance. Joey Bishop just sent me a note. He wants to change his pick. One round doesn't do it, Joey. He had picked Patterson. Quarry got to Floyd with a left. Floyd came back, and Floyd staggers Quarry with that left. Quarry coming back, countering effectively to the midsection. I'll tell you, this Quarry's a tough kid. The fight resembled so much the first fight, it's almost unbelievable. That's where Floyd can do his best job when he has Quarry in that corner. We don't want to labor the point, but it is the fact. Quarry in the red velvet trunks, Patterson in the blue trunks. Squarely in the center of the ring, a minute and a half to go. Quarry getting to Patterson's head, but not hurting him. We saw Patterson come up with that left into Quarry's face after working to the stomach. Quarry finally gets out of that corner. We've got a little less than a minute to go in this round. Fifty seconds left in this, the third round. Patterson against Quarry. The fight is again in the center of the ring. Patterson in the blue trunks is back to you. Now, Quarry on the right side of your screen in the red velvet trunks. A good scrap so far, a good exchange there. All of this coming to you live on ABC's Wide World of Sports. Quarry back in that corner. Patterson swinging off balance. A lunge, nothing done to him by Quarry there. Now Quarry comes through with a good left to the belly and a right to the right to the left side of Patterson's face. We're down to 12 seconds left in this, the third round. Would you like to join my team, the Naxima team? The world's best shaped men all belong. We have a cheer on the Naxima team. 
Take it off, take it off, take it all off. Sis, boom, ba, noxima. <laughs> And take it off with Noxima medicated cheek. Uh, hello, sir, you shake. The more you need Noxima. And Noxima medicated comfort shake. Ra. Back at Olympic Auditorium, round four. Patterson against Glory. No marks yet on either fighter. Patterson down once thus far in the fight in the second round. Almost at the bell. The fighters, I might tell you, are using 10-ounce gloves. 10-ounce gloves. That's by law here in California. Makes it much harder to knock the adversary out when you wear 10-ounce gloves. The rule invoked for safety purposes after an unfortunate death to a fighter here in California back in 1963. 10-ounce gloves are no. Patterson went down in that second round from Quarry Spitz. Floyd still jogging from side to side. Quarry moving with the left to the midsection. Not a bad fight so far. Got some action. by Floyd connecting. We have a minute and 50 seconds left in the fourth round. From the third round through the middle rounds in the last fight, Patterson took command. The one difference between this fight and its pattern and the fight they fought last time on June 9th is that most people at ringside have given Quarry the third round today and have Quarry leading two points to one and in effect two rounds to one. Patterson generally having been considered to have won the first round. Quarry striking out from that corner. Patterson swinging back and down goes Patterson again from the short right. The second time in the fight. We have a minute to go in round four. Patterson down for the second time in the fight. Patterson directly above us. Quarry said he would finish Floyd by the fifth round. This is what he's trying to do. You've got to be impressed with Quarry, regardless of Patterson's glass chin, because this guy is tough. He's got the good left hook, he's got the strong right, and he can take punishment. We have 15 seconds left. Round four. Patterson in the blue trunks. Quarry in the red velvet trunks. Patterson down twice thus far in this fight. Looked good in the first round. are here for 68. The Big Steel Cats. Mercury Cougar. Pound for pound. Dollar for dollar. The best equipped luxury sports car in America. With a new and deeper V8 growl. Eyes that hide by day, shine by night. A tail that flicks brightly. All standard. This is the royal new Cougar XR7. Rich, glove-soft leathers and vinyl. Luxury with claws. Mercury Cougar XR7, one of four proud new Cougars. Lincoln Mercury. Better idea cars from the makers of Lincoln Continental. Back at ringside, round five. Patterson against Quarry. Quarry looking a little cocky. You may see him tap Floyd at the end of each round. Why shouldn't he be? He's decked Floyd twice thus far. Floyd sitting passively in his corner. 
during the breathing spell, but looking a little bit tired. Still no marks on either man, although Floyd has been down those two times. Floyd leading with the left and lunging, jumping again to the stomach. Floyd apparently trying to get to Quarry's stomach and then move up to the head as the guard drops, but it's not been working. Not effectively, anyway. Quarry has been carefully instructed to try and keep punching distance, punching room. However, last round when he decked Floyd with that right, for the first time he fought effectively while pinned against the ropes in the corner. He really flailed away. This is coming to you live, you know, from the Olympic Auditorium in Los Angeles, California. Patterson against Quarry, World Boxing Association Heavyweight Elimination Tournament. As Quarry, lunging almost completely losing his balance after he had connected with a right to Quarry's head that did not hurt Jerry. Floyd has been doing that, and in the opinion of boxing people, mistakenly so, ever since he was an amateur. It is an amateurish tactic. A minute and 20 seconds left in this, the fifth round. This was the round Floyd knocked out Archie Moran on November 30th, 1956, at the Chicago Stadium to become the heavyweight champion of the world. It was the round he demolished Ingemar Johansson in on June 20th, 1960, at the then Polo Grounds, when he became the first ever to recapture the championship. Now at 32, he fights, well, he fights, I guess, with pride, with desire, because it's what he knows and what he loves. But it is no longer the Patterson of those other years. Again the lunge and left himself open for the quarry left. Patterson in the blue trunks, quarry in the red velvet trunks, quarry against the ropes, Floyd with a pretty good chopping right against the side of the jaw. 28 seconds left in the round, 26. Another live presentation in the heavy rate ranks from ABC's Wide World of Sports. End of round five as Patterson lunges and misses again. This, the final quarterfinal match of the World Boxing Association Heavyweight Championship Elimination Tournament, sanctioned by the WBA, which is the only governing body in boxing recognized throughout the world. It was founded in 1921. The present head of it, Bob Evans out of Louisville, Kentucky. And of course, the first semifinal match will take place on December 2nd. December 2nd, you'll be seeing that one live on ABC's Wide World of Sports. And a quick football score. Oklahoma State 10, Colorado 7, a major upset, Colorado. The Buffaloes had gone into today's game ranked number three in the country behind the Trojans and the Euclids. Still in the tournament, you know, are Thad Spencer, Jimmy Ellis, Oscar Bonavina, and the winner of this one as we begin round six. Thad Spencer's scorecard, most unofficial, but a fighter's viewpoint as he watches here, has Quarry ahead three points to two, three rounds to two. The fighters are directly above us. Quarry once again in the corner, but now moving out. Referee Bybee has been maintaining good position throughout this bout. That's the critical thing, as you know, with a referee. Not to be behind the action so that somebody can get seriously damaged before he can step in and intercede. Oddly, still a fighter. No redness on Quarry's face, no cuts on Patterson's. Two minutes left in this, the sixth round. It's a 12-rounder scheduled. Quarry had hoped to put Patterson away within five. He failed to do that, although he decked him twice. 
in the second and in the fourth. In the last fight, Floyd opened up a vicious cut over Quarry's eye. It was then that Teddy Benson, the fine cut man we told you about, saved Quarry. Nothing opened in this fight, though, as I've said. Here in the sixth round, and to a degree in the fifth, the action has slackened. In the early rounds, it was real action. Just a minute to go. Barry can punch to the stomach, believe me. Forty seconds left in the sixth round. seconds left cameramen are at ringside and have their cameras actually within the ring on the green canvas and this can be very dangerous we only have five seconds left I'm Ed Reimers here with Allstate policyholder Mrs. Charlotte Agostini of Hartsdale New York Mrs. Agostini was just back from the hospital when they had a fire. Yes, and I was still very weak. What happened? I wanted to make a cup of tea and some toast. I put bread in the toaster and I forgot all about it. The next thing I knew, the toast was burning and so were the curtains. The fire department was able to save the house. Yes, but most of the kitchen was destroyed. My husband called Allstate immediately. The claims man came out that very afternoon. And after checking the repair cost, he told us to go ahead and have the kitchen rebuilt. What do you think of Allstate service, Mrs. Agostini? Just marvelous. There was no fuss, no red tape. We got a brand new kitchen, and the Allstate check covered it. Thank you, ma'am. Allstate has the largest full-time salaried claim staff in the insurance industry. You're in good hands with Allstate. We're back at ringside, Olympic Auditorium. You're seeing Patterson. We're about ready for the action in round seven. As we broke for that commercial at the end of round six, the two men continued hitting one another after the bell. Mere circumstance, nothing intentional. Patterson felt shamefaced about it and told Jerry. Thad Spencer to my right has Quarry leading four rounds to two, four points to two. Some of the fine sports writers around here. Mel Derslag, for instance, the great syndicated columnist of the Los Angeles Herald Examiner, has essentially the same score, four to two. Floyd, becoming the aggressor here. You know, Quarry told me before this bout that the thing that amazed him about Patterson in the last fight was that he didn't think Patterson was a good puncher. This is the first time anybody's ever said that about Patterson. Few of us in modern times have seen a more devastating blow than the one he knocked Johansson out with in the polo grounds back in 1960. Within the past year, he's knocked out Henry Cooper more quickly than Muhammad Ali or Cassius Clay was able to do it. A minute 12 to go in round seven. Okay. 58 seconds to go. Less than a minute now in round seven. 
Right is directly above us. Perhaps you heard the leather thrown by Quarry against Patterson's side. 45 seconds to go. Less action in this round than any other in the fight. Up until that right lead. That's the second time in this fight that Patterson has caught Quarry with a right lead. Quarry was not staggered, but he was stunned just for the briefest instant. We have 20 seconds left in round seven. Again, a flurry of action as we approach the bell. Only eight seconds to go. Nice collection, Jack. Thanks. Ah, uh, that's a beauty. Made about 1830. Right but the lock plate is loose. Well, I'll take it home and fix it. You can pick it up tomorrow. Great. <laughs> hey, I wish you'd fix this pipe, too. It doesn't taste right. Well, I can smell the trouble. It's that fancy flavored tobacco you're using. Here, try our real tobacco. Sir Walter Raleigh. Smells grand, packs right, tastes great, can't bite, keeps fresh. So fresh in the pouch. 44% fresher. Enjoy the rewarding taste of Sir Walter Raleigh's great tobaccos and relax in a man's world. Sir Walter Raleigh is a blend of choice Kentucky Burleys, extra aged to the peak of mildness for rich, good flavor. Hey, it's fixed. Hi, Jack. Your gun works great now. So is my pipe. Thanks to your Sir Walter Raleigh. Sir Walter Raleigh, sooner or later, your favorite tobacco. Round eight, Olympic Auditorium, live by ABC's Wide World of Sports, Floyd Patterson against Jerry Quarry. Thad Spencer now has his scoring, four points to three in favor of Quarry, and Thad has just observed that Quarry seemed to be going downhill in the last round, seemed to be tiring just a little bit. We'll have to see how he does in this round. Quarry's history until the previous draw with Patterson was not that of a very well-conditioned fighter. Floyd connected there with a right lead, a jumping right lead. He used to run down after the fifth round. And the 10-rounder that the two fought on June 9th here in Los Angeles. It was Patterson who led up in the ninth and 10th rounds. And according to local folk, that's how Quarry got the draw. A lot of people felt at that time it was a hometown decision and that Patterson really won the match. That was the last one, and we're in this one. And there are two minutes left in round eight. Patterson in the blue trunks, Quarry in the red velvet trunks. Unless Quarry suddenly hurts Patterson again, Floyd is now making a better fight. a minute and 15 seconds to go in round eight. And Quarry does look tired. He doesn't seem to have the zip, the verb, that he had in the earlier rounds when he had hoped to put Floyd away, but quickly. Two knockdowns in this fight thus far. Quarry registered both of them. One in the second, one in the fourth. Now he's pinioned against the ropes. That was the position he was in. He's away from there now. Floyd with a good right. Thad Spencer has just observed Floyd is using a right lead the way Thad did against Ernie Terrell when they fought in Houston on August 5th. Has the right lead again. Now Quarry comes back counterpunching viciously. That Quarry is a tough kid. He was stunned by that Patterson right and yet he came back with strong counterpunching to the midsection. We only have 15 seconds left to go in round eight. That 
That's the end of round eight. We'll be back with more of ABC's Wide World of Sports right after this message from our local stations. Bing Crosby is host on the Hollywood Palace Tuesday on ABC. Your pick is looking better. Your pick is looking better. for round nine, Patterson against Quarry. Quarry tiring in the past two rounds. Thad Spencer, and this is just his scorecard, of course, but it is an indication of how a fighter views it, sees the fight now as all even. Thad Spencer, of course, presently the number one rated contender by the World Boxing Association, but that's a controversial matter. Led with a left and Floyd came back with a left. Floyd in the blue trunks. Jerry in the red velvet trunks. Floyd jogging as is his wont from side to side. Jerry is trying to move more. He's been talked to in his corner and he's trying to move more. that looked better on the screen than it was. Patterson not going in after him. It's when Patterson does that that he gets decked. may hear somebody yelling behind me cut him off Floyd as we have a minute left in this the ninth round where thus far we've had far less action than we've had in any other round in this overall I think good match the man yelling is Yancey Durham the manager of Joe Frazier He's telling him to cut the ring off on him. and it's Joe Frazier too yelling Thad Spencer tells me We have less than 30 seconds in this, the ninth round. And again, pinned in to that corner. Right ahead of us against the ropes. Briefly, Quarry gets clipped with a Patterson right. And a good left. A jumping left. Quarry coming back with the counter punching. Five seconds left in the round. I am the famous but humble Professor Van Roon, and I'm an expert on car engines. And I can tell you why cars act old after just a couple of years. They begin to smoke and burn oil. They make noise. You can almost feel I'm getting old. <laughs> if your car does this, <laughs> just add a can of Alamite CD2 to your oil. The next time your oil stick shows that your habit won't low, this Alamite CD2 stuff stops oil burning pork, and makes your car run deep and quiet as a pussy can. <laughs> There's new life and power for your old car in every can of Alamite CD2. Stop and pick up some of this good stuff at your near service station. Alamite. Oh, Alamite CD2. Oh, such power makes your car run like a... 
Round 10, Olympic Auditorium, live on ABC's Wide World of Sports. Patterson against Quarry. At ringside, they are rated about even as we scan most of the unofficial votes at ringside. And yet the general consensus is that Jerry Quarry must have a slight edge because he registered the only two knockdowns of the fight. One in the second round, one in the fourth round. Quarry's pace has definitely tailed off, though, in the last three rounds. This is why he's seeking the move, staying away, and fighting in those quick counterpunch flurries that you saw at the end of the bell. They're directly above us. Funny thing, you watch Patterson now today at age 32. The legs keep moving up and down, but they're not stringy in the way once. A good right lead! There it was again! This time, Quarry again pinned against the ropes. And there's that amateurish lunge by Patterson. Failure to take advantage of a situation with a move like that. But that right lead has been his most effective weapon in this fight. That's the fourth time in this bout. Now he's got Quarry directly ahead of us in the corner against the ropes. Floyd got to him again and again. Two good rights. Ed Spencer has just yelled to me that the snap is going out of Quarry. Feels that Patterson's punches to the midsection have weakened Quarry to a point where the snap is gone. That remains to be seen. We've got about a minute left in the 10th round of this fight. Floyd Patterson against Jerry Quarry. Quarterfinal. World Boxing Association heavyweight elimination bout. Live via ABC's Wide World of Sports as Patterson again gets the right lead in against the left side of Quarry's face. Oddly, there has been no bloodshed. Oh, another good right by Patterson against Quarry. Quarry stunned. Tough, though. 28 seconds left in the round. Now the question is, can Patterson keep this pace up? And how much has really gone out of Quarry? Does he have anything left? We have 10 seconds left. We're going to go right to Jerry Quarry's corner after this round, the 10th round. That's the end of the 10th round. You're looking at Jerry Quarry, and the crowd is standing up now. Floyd Patterson wasn't born in Bakersfield, California. You know his background from Brooklyn, the disturbed childhood, the special schools, including the Wiltwick School. Now, he's not a favorite native son here, but they respect him. Now we're on Quarry, and Jerry is a tired kid, as you can see. Amazing thing, Quarry hasn't been cut in this fight. The number of jolting punches to the face that Patterson is connected with, one would have expected some cut to open. Patterson. Yes, he doesn't look in bad shape as you look at him, does he? Seems to have a quiet self-belief about him sitting there now as Ernie Fowler works over him. We're ready now for round 11. Now let's see if Quarry can come back. He's puffy under the left eye now, Quarry is. No question, he's puffy. Floyd with the left to the midsection. around this town before this fight the kind you so often hear Patterson was again having trouble with his back he certainly hasn't shown it we're coming up to the two minute mark two minutes to go in round 11 
the right lead again. Jerry Quarry, definitely a tired kid. At age 22 against Patterson's 32, one would have expected Patterson to go downhill, not to be the one coming on. We have a minute and a half left in the 11th round. We have a minute, 10 seconds left. Quarry holding on. Floyd with the short right, but not a hurtful one that time. Three seconds left in the round. I tell you, when they add up all these rounds, we'll have to see if the two judges and the referee decided to give Quarry two points for the two rounds where he scored knockdowns. This is entirely possible, you know, and it might produce a favorable result for Quarry. This is not a hedge on my part, because on a round-for-round -round basis, around ringside now, with 28 seconds left in this, the 11th round, Patterson has become the slight leader. This was a round in which Quarry just held on. Ten seconds left in the eleventh round. All right, we're still on. You saw the flurry again after the bell, and that was the best punching Jerry Quarry's done, that counter punching, in the last three rounds. You're over, now you're back in Floyd's corner. Ernie Fowler, who's been with Floyd for a lot of years, is the one leaning over him, doing the talking to him. Madison is much less tired than I actually thought he could possibly be. Quarry is tired. You see now the pouch marks under each eye on Quarry's face. No cuts, though. The final round, round 12, live on ABC's Wide World of Sports. Floyd Patterson against Jerry Quarry. Patterson to the left of your screen in the blue trunks. Quarry in the bright red velvet trunks. Floyd beginning with the left jabs, trying to be the aggressor, and this is the final round. Leave the judges, the referee, obviously, with the right impression. Quarry will be endeavoring to do the same thing. That's a slip. Just a slip. No knockdown. Two minutes and five seconds left, and this the final round, the 11th round. A jolting left hook by Floyd Patterson to the right side of Quarry's face. Floyd with the left jab now, trying to set him up for the right. Straight right lead, Patterson's most effective punch in this fight. Minute and 35 seconds left. Immediately the bell rings. This reporter will be getting up within the ring to talk with the winner and possibly the loser too. We have a minute and 10 seconds to go in the final round. Both 
fighters are tired now. Both of them. The punches don't have the snap. We have 50 seconds left. And based upon our time commitments, we may not be able to wait on the decision. We may have to... on the decision in order to talk to the fighters. We may have to talk to them before the decision itself is rendered. But you will be here, of course, for that decision. No question about that. We're down to 15 seconds left. There'll, there'll be a final flurry by both fighters. As the bell for the end of the fight, we'll be back in the center of the ring in just a minute. Vitalis! Vitalis! Your attention, fans, in a great fight, we have a split decision. He is overruled by judges at ringside, Joey Olmos and Lee Grossman with identical scorecards. Six for, pa for Patterson, seven for Quarry. The winner, Quarry Quarry! All right, you've heard it. You've heard it and you hear the reaction. Fans are throwing things into the ring. frankly some of the crowd reaction not favorable did you think you won this fight in your own mind yes i did i built up such an early lead i don't he just couldn't overtake it that's all do you agree that you began to tire along about the seventh and eighth round yes i did he kept the pace up pretty well and i got a little tired about the about the ninth about the middle of the night all right i wonder as we talk jerry if you'd look up at our camera what were your best blows as you decked him in the second and the fourth as uh, you saw it both of them right hand. Both right hand. Now, you told me before the fight that Patterson didn't hurt you in the last fight. Did he hurt yeah, you tonight? He hurt me one time this time with a right hand, overhand right hand. Excuse me, one second, Jerry. Floyd! Ernie, would you bring Floyd here? I just want to break in because the two-time former world heavyweight champion, it seems to me, deserves the opportunity to be seen. Floyd, come on over here, Jerry. Come to my other side. Here is Floyd Patterson. Floyd, look up at our camera. What is your feeling about this decision? Well, I naturally feel a bit, uh, I don't know, distressed, I guess. But Jerry was a hard opponent. He put up a very hard fight. I didn't count the punches that I landed, nor did I count the punches he landed. So I guess the referees and judges were just in their decision. I think the fair question, and we've only got a few seconds left, is and it has to be asked, is it quits this time? I'll know my answer tomorrow, Harold. Good luck to you. As the fans bow and some cheer, Floyd Patterson shakes hands with Jerry Quarry. And that's the story from the ring here at Olympic Auditorium. Congratulations to Jerry Quarry, the winner in a split decision.